This is the largest suspension bridge in Canada as far as The you longest, know. the longest, yep. Here we go, guys. Yikes. This is scary up here, guys. This will test your yeah. guts. <laughs> uh, I'm always afraid of heights. <laughs> Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go for an explore. Uh, lots of people are packing up already because it's Sunday morning over here as we're filming this. May not be Sunday when you guys are watching this. You never know, depending on when we release this. Which we plan on releasing it on a Sunday, but you know, we never know. Things can change. But yeah, we are heading out. Uh, to go do some exploring haven't quite made up our minds yet where we're going but we have a pretty good idea we want to go and see that suspension bridge we uh, read up on it a little bit last night and uh, sounds like it's 600 feet across and uh, 152 feet. feet up in the air so uh, it's going to be quite high and quite long, so that should be a fun uh, exploration, right? Absolutely. So let's head on out there and see if we can find it. And then, uh, yeah. I know once we leave camp, we have better service here inside. It's a little bit uh, shady, spotty. But yeah, we'll go out there and uh, find it and we'll bring you all the beautiful views that we can. Here we are going over a super narrow wooden bridge. Let's hope it holds our fat asses. <laughs> yeah, we are not too far from our location. We're gonna go attempt to see that uh, meters. Turn left suspension left. bridge. That's the plan. See if we feel we'll really find it. Yeah, we'll see if we really find it and uh, I think we will. Turn I'm pretty sure. Oh, it says we gotta turn left up here. All right. Valley Road, okay. I guess it looks like a valley. <laughs> Little kind of creek Ooh, that runs down here. For five kilometers. So you gotta go down here five clicks yet, eh? That's okay, it's a good road. Who knows, we might see some bears or some other wildlife yet. You never know. Never know. I've been saying to the wife, we haven't seen a moose yet. Out in the boat, you know, on our drive up here. So I'm kind of surprised, but. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. But anyways, let's go see if we can find it. All right, guys, I think we have made it. Check out that huge sign behind us there. Eagle, uh, Eagle Canyon. Uh, yeah, so let's take a good look at it. I figure this might be a better idea filming it this way. So Eagle Ca uh, Canyon Adventures, perfect fit for me, right? Home of Canada, uh, of Canada's longest suspension bridge. So you guys can see that there in the picture. On um, basically way up there is where that hanging bridge is. And that's where we're gonna go explore. So let's go check it out, guys. Alrighty, guys. What do you say, young lady? Time for us to go for a little bit of a walk. Looks Maybe. like a steep walk. Looks like a steep walk. Well, we're up for a little bit of exercise, right? Ah, why not? I think so. Let's show them what it says on the sign here. Welcome to Eagle Canyon. There will be no unauthorized vehicles beyond this point. All persons must have paid permission and signed a waiver to enter beyond this point. No children under 18 beyond this point unless accompanied by an adult. Stay on trails. All right, dogs must be on leashes. No authorized personnel. So as you, I don't know if the camera even shows it, how steep it goes up, but uh, there's actually two bridges here. And I said the first one is 300 feet and the second one is 600. So quite an adventure. Oh yeah, this is going up pretty, pretty steep. I mean, it's to be expected, I guess, but yeah. 
Anyways, let's go for a really nice journey up here. <laughs> yeah, we have to go up, steep up the high mountain, I guess. Yep, yeah, to climb up, I guess, yeah. All right, guys, we might be huffing and puffing, but uh, it looks like we're slowly getting to the bridge here, so let's go take a look. <laughs> what a workout, eh? Absolutely no throwing rocks. Or, or debris over the bridge or, or edge of canyon. Yeah, no kidding. Look at that humongous wall up there. Oh, yo, yo. Are you ready? Beautiful. Uh huh. There we go. I think we should take a picture over here. Yeah. For sure. Yikes. Look here at you that. can see both of the bridges. Uh -huh. Look at the water up there. Oh yeah, you can see oh, both of there, the bridges. Over there. there are some people. Yeah, that's probably the bottom canyon that I was talking about. Yeah. That we're going to probably go explore as well. But what a view up here, guys. what we're getting ready to experience here we go guys oh my goodness that looks like a super long distance doesn't it let me see here this is one of the shorter ones. oh my goodness yeah this is one of the shorter ones yikes this is scary up here guys this will test your yeah guts <laughs> uh, i'm always afraid of heights so just imagine that one and then they have a zip line down Ooh. there too. So oh, that would be fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I always wanted to go zip lining. Yikes, no nah, I ain't. <laughs> this is scary, man. I am scared of walking across here. Yikes. Luckily we brought our uh, microphone holders. You bought life insurance? <laughs> nope, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Yikes. Oh, it's shaking. Uh-huh. With that wind and everything. Yikes, that zip line goes all the way down to that end over there. So let's make it across here. See if we have the guts to go down to the other one. Just Wish take your long. time. Yeah. Take your time. I am not a big fan of heights like these. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a big fan, I tell you what. Oh Good thing they have super heavy duty cables up here. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I'm afraid. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, no kidding, you gotta sign a waiver up here. <laughs> wow, that is insane. You'll be in pieces if you fall, fall down. Yeah, no kidding. Let's not even think about that. Yeah, well, if you would film it closely by this handle so you could see how much it's shaking or moving. Mm-hmm, I know. I figure I turn it this way so you guys can see my scared face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets easier as time goes wow. on, I guess. Wow. But... Uh, what an experience, eh? What an experience it is, all right. Holy smokes. If you ever come to a Thunder Bay get, area, yeah. you got to do this. This is actually closer to uh, Nipigon than, uh, than Thunder Bay, but what an amazing view, guys. Let me grab my camera. Uh, I got my Canon camera with me and uh, take a picture of my sweetheart, guys. Let me spin around. I tell you what, I am really afraid to be on this bridge. <laughs> I don't know how strong this really is. Can you imagine with the wind? All right. We mustered the courage to take some pictures. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'll be happy when I'm at the, at the top there. There's other people coming, uh, walking across here as well. They're waiting for us. It said no more than 20 people at once up here. And I'm afraid to even be here by myself. This is shaking so badly and oh my God, <laughs> this is scary. 
I tell you what, this is the scariest I've been in a long time. <laughs> Nobody is allowed to be on the bridge if it's icy or snowing. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of rules for bridges like this. Yeah, this feels terrible. This rules. is a terrible feeling. And then they just got wood. Oh my goodness, I'm at the top here, guys. <laughs> now I feel safe back on land again. Well, wood is still better than bridges or yeah, glass. Or or glass, yeah, no kidding. Which one should we take, guys? Which one? Well, I think we have to take the bridge. You guys are probably going to leave some comments, but that's okay. Dare to take yeah. the bridge. Dare to take the bridge. Yeah, oh, no yeah. Kidding. I have to. <laughs> no problem. We'll make it happen for you guys only. All right, guys. We are at the second bridge, guys. This uh, is the largest suspension bridge in Canada as far as The we longest. Know. The longest. Yep. That is it, the longest. 600 feet. You guys want to wish me luck before we cross? If you don't see this video, then uh, we <laughs> didn't make it. <laughs> Maybe the wife oh, did. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Let's show them the other way. All right, they got a little bit of a sign here saying no more than uh, 20 people. Stay safe, rules of the bridge. And uh, here no you go. No bikes allowed, no, no running bikes. or horseplay. None of that stuff, so. Uh, here we go. Wish me luck. Every step you can feel on this one. They got a little bit of a coin, uh, oh, throwing, coin toss, coin up. toss up there. And yeah, I can feel every step that anybody oh, takes. Yeah. There are lots of coins up there. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't surprise me. Would not surprise me. Oh, it's all shiny on the bottom. <laughs> all shiny at the bottom. Oh, I see coins way down there too. Let me see if I can so Yeah, right up there. You see them? Right there on the edge of that big rock. You can see the coins all the way up there too. People have been throwing coins. <laughs> I bet you that's where the eagle sometimes will land. But yeah, here we go, guys. Let's see if I've got more bravery on this one. This one almost looks wider for some odd reason but yeah. uh, no it's not no there is there is the water up there w wind has quiet down yeah all right then let's walk across just easy baby steps at a time for me that's how we do it that's how we do it take a good view of the surrounding up here guys this takes a lot of bravery for me, guys. It really, really does. They have a nice platform up there, it looks like for the zip lining. And then, uh, yeah, there is some steps down there. There's the other bridge that we crossed earlier. You see the big mountains in the background up there. So let's uh, take some baby steps towards the center. I know other people have crossed here. So, uh, yeah, should be safe, should be. It is quite an adventure for me. This is this is probably considered outside of my boundary. <laughs> I just want to show you guys the a huge wall that goes straight down there. It's supposed to be only 150 feet, but uh, it sure feels scarier than or looks deeper than what it actually is, you know. I didn't think 100 feet would, 150 feet would be that scary, but it is scary for me. Yeah. All right, the wife sat still. I'll be happy when I'm down there, so let's go. Perhaps I can uh, attempt to do this. I'm just walking ninja style, trying to stabilize my walking. And as long as I'm walking, I feel all right. And it feels like, yeah, like the wife said, the wind feels like it has calmed down. So uh, 
I feel alright, I just don't know about these wooden boards though. That I don't know. I'm quite heavy, right? So yeah. This is this is quite a challenge for me guys, I tell you what. This feels no good, no bueno for me. But uh yeah. I I hope you guys appreciate me doing this for you guys cost us 50 bucks to walk this whole thing <sighs> and uh you see the eagle i don't know man i <laughs> my wife is saying you see the eagle but <gasps> all i see is down <laughs> i should have brought my binoculars here this I know, would be a right? beautiful place to use yeah them. see see over there there's the Let eagle me see. It's from up here now you guys can see a beautiful view from there where do you see the eagle? Over there. Is it flying? Yeah, in oh, the yeah, air. Oh, I see it flying up there in the air. Let me level out here so you guys can see. Almost looks like the water kind of stops down there. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is still more flowing down, but... No, it's yeah. not connecting. Uh, right under the bridge, yeah. the water is not connecting. Let's continue on, guys. Well, guys, we have conquered this super long suspension bridge, and this is mostly in tree. They got the zip line thing up here, right? Well, it's closed for now. Yeah, it's closed for now, but take a look on how far it is from up here. You guys might be able to see the cable going right there. And it goes all the way down, way over there at that tiny little speck right down there. And uh, it's quite funny on the, uh, on the uh, sign that they got up here on their restrictions. And the same thing here for... Uh, for that, eh? <laughs> Weight restrictions, 50 mm -hmm. to 275 pounds. Yeah, and the height, 3.6 to 7 feet. Uh -huh. But despite the above requirements, only participants who fit in the available harness and helmets may mm. ride the zip line. <laughs> so you may meet all the requirements, but still. Yeah, may not be able to go. All right, guys, this is, this is more my kind of adventure here, guys. <laughs> Yeah, this, this, this feels much better walking out here. So now we're going to walk down these stairs and uh, walk down all the way down to the river that uh, or creek or whatever you want to call it from way up there that uh, look like a river. But yeah, this feels much safer and secured. I don't feel nothing wobbling up here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, if you touch these yellow things, they will be wobbling. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, walk down there and explore more of the beauty that this park has to offer. Since it cost us 50 bucks to enter up here, then uh, may as well enjoy it while it lasts and uh, take our time and explore everything, make lots of videos here. And, Lots of pictures. We already took tons of pictures, so that's good. We have made it to the bottom by the uh, river or creek or whatever you want to call it. And I want to give you guys a little spin up on how tall it is going up there. And then down there we have the first uh, swinging bridge or whatever. There's the second one suspension bridge that's the one i was looking for yeah there's the second one right up there but i'm kind of intrigued by this clear water right here i don't know man beautiful. beautiful the only problem is this i was thinking about you going... didn't see the first one i didn't see the first one no oh. not the first words so okay so swimming allowed oh, okay. <laughs> all right all right I guess we'll have to go for a skinny dip swimming, I guess. What do you think? That was fun. That was fun? You want to go again? <laughs> Absolutely. Look at that. That's the uh, super long one right up there. And uh, we've been taking some pictures down here, down the, the side. There is very, very little bit of wind hitting this area. So you can see all this clear water and with the reflection. The zip line goes. Yeah, the zip line. Ah, uh, yeah, you might be able to see it right there. Straight above us too, that's where that first <laughs> bridge is. 
And then the second one is obviously down there. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful reflections in the water here. So, and then uh, we got this way, we got the kind of the trail up here. And then there you guys might be able to see the zip line goes right down there, like way down to the end of that, where that water is. That's where the zip line goes down to. But yeah, what a fun place to go to oh. and explore. Well guys, we decided after our uh, adventure with the suspension bridge, we want to go see some other more bridges up here. So we took the extra step and uh, decided to go uh, an additional 30 kilometers or 40 kilometers to go up here and show you guys this bridge. It's been quite some time since I've shown you guys this one here. I've been down here many times when I was uh, driving with the truck, but uh, not since uh, I've been off the long old truck driving job, right? So here we go. I'll go down this road here for a little bit, and then I'll go down here, IV-11. We'll go up to that old church that I know up here. And then uh, we'll show you that, and then we'll probably come back up here. We just saw a, uh, what is it, like a lookout point or whatever. And we'll show you guys that. And then we'll see what else we come up with. But yeah, we figured since we're out here in this area, why not take the extra step to go the extra 30 kilometers and go up here, show you guys this. Since I haven't been out here in a long time, why not? It's a gorgeous area. Sometimes you just gotta pull over and enjoy a little bit of the scenic area, eh? Some clouds up there, eh? They're saying that we might be getting some rain later, but over there is Highway 11. You see a truck truck coming down there, eh? And there's a couple of trucks coming down there. there. You have come down with the truck. Oh, many, many times I've been down that road. Oh, yeah, going to Toronto or coming back. But look at these clouds up there, eh? They, uh, we could be getting some rain here later. That is where that bridge is that we just went over. And, uh, yeah, I've actually stayed at this uh, pullout area where we're at many times before. There's the church way over there. We'll go uh, see that church here in a minute, but... I wanted to show you guys this site here before we uh, we go up there. That's for sure. I like the way the clouds are looking. Although I don't wish for rain, but it looks pretty neat. All right, guys, this is one of the main reasons that we decided to come all the way up here to show you guys this. So uh, you guys are better at reading than I am. So you guys can uh, read up on that a little bit. So let's take a look. Look at this beautiful, beautiful church right here. I love it. It's right here on the highway, built in 19, uh, 1877, right? That's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and go up a little bit closer. And they got a lot of people that they have buried here over the years. The wife is reading up on the history a little bit. Beautiful mountain or hill or whatever you want to call it in the background. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my car. Like, hey, we parked over there. Like, look at them clouds, they eh? pretty wicked. And I think I'm gonna put my wide angle lens on. And I think I'm gonna take a picture of this church. To me, this is beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but to me, this is a, a historic site and uh, should be preserved like they are doing. Look at them windows. It needs some repairing maybe, but uh, yeah, look at them windows. There's actually some old, like super old colored glass inside of there. So yeah, so let me go get my other camera. And they do have a, uh, a little building behind here as well. 
so I don't know what they use that for. Super, super old. Look at that. It's getting ready to fall apart. Maybe at one point somebody lived in there or something. I don't know. But it is super old there. You guys can see that glass a little bit better, eh? But yeah, super, super old church. Yeah, maybe, maybe the chaplain or whoever. I don't know what kind of religion church just really is. You guys might know a little bit more about it than I do. Beautiful flowers, eh? Wild flowers growing up here. We always love flowers. Look at that, eh? Oh yeah, that's nice. Alright guys, we went for a little bit of a walk and you guys can see that is where all the water is coming around this bend up here to go up on this uh, underneath this bridge here. So now we have basically made it to this bridge up here that we drove over earlier and they got this narrow path down there where all the water goes down and they got a little bit of history here just in case you guys want to know a little bit about it. Might be a good uh, good information, right? Something uh, new, I don't know. That almost looks like either French or something, but yeah. Always good information, right? This is that brand new bridge and that other one there on the other side, that old one, that's the railway crossing there. Well guys, we have made it back to the Terry Fox lookout uh, area or rest area, whatever you want to call it, memorial. So we're going to drive in here and uh, go check it out. I think this is a beautiful place to, for anybody that uh, travels to go in and kind of take a little break and overlook the uh, Superior Lake because you're kind of on the top of the hill here. Once you get there, uh, you can look across the highway and see Superior Lake. Beautiful, beautiful area up here, that's for sure. Looks like we got some dark clouds ahead of us though. And we did get a little bit of rain here in the last little while, but finally cleared up a bit. But yeah, I've been in here before, but I don't know. Yeah, I think I videoed a little bit inside of here, but Maybe not as much as I should have. <laughs> I know it's a beautiful drive in here. Look at all these trees. That's why I was saying it's kind of tough to get in here with a semi truck. Because it's a little bit tight and trees are hanging low and parking spots are a little tight to get into, but trucks are allowed to go in here. Yep. See, they even got a sign up here where the trucks are supposed to go park. Right here, Green Arrow. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's an interesting pickup truck or whatever you want to call it here to the left. Let me see if I can show you guys a little bit. That's really an interesting one. That looks like a British truck. They got like a British uh, license plate on them. Interesting. All right, guys, we have found us a beaver that sneak up on him. It sneak up on him. Yeah, you want to touch his tail? All right, all right, oh, oh, oh. Justin Beaver over here. Mr. Beaver, this is the closest I've ever seen one. You know, look at that. He's looking all pretty over here among the flowers. You want to come and say hi? Yeah, come on over here and say hi to everybody. We're just exploring Thunder Bay up here. Yeah, come on over here. Let's just say hi. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, I know you got some super sharp teeth. Teeth that uh, I don't want to mess with them. Yeah, look at that. He's gonna go for a nice little swim. Such a clear water up here. We'll probably be able to see him for miles to come. Yeah, this is, yeah, see? There he goes. Now he's swimming away. He said, I don't want no part of you. Take a look at downtown Thunder Bay, guys. Beautiful, beautiful uh, 
sunset up here and uh, we figured you know what let's go to downtown check it out a little bit see what else we can come up with up here eh my wife said Justin Beaver is in town <laughs> he's swimming <laughs> he's swimming over there well guys it is the next morning and uh, yeah we didn't cook anything for breakfast this morning we weren't really hungry we just decided uh, last night while uh, we went and saw the beaver out there right oh yeah that was yeah nice. so uh you guys probably just watched that clip we were in town anyways so we decided to go stop in at a uh, superstore and uh just get us some uh, fruits and stuff like that we yogurt. got us some yogurt just kind of had that for breakfast now we just finished having a shower and getting ready to go uh pick up mark yes and then uh where are we going to the waterfalls and yeah. we'll see what else what else mark will be able to show us yeah. like uh, we're not familiar with this area too much right so uh yeah maybe he can uh point some really good uh stuff out to us and then we'll go visit that and show that to you guys so we're gonna go ahead and close off this one i hope you really enjoyed that uh, suspension bridge uh adventure <laughs> and all of that stuff so uh thanks for watching if you guys want to see the rest of the uh, video for us going to the waterfall and all of that, be sure to be subscribed, leave a like, share this video so that more people will get to see it. Yes. And then uh, come back uh, and uh, when you click the subscribe button, hit that little bell and click on all so that way you'll be notified when the next video is being released. So thank you very much for watching and uh, following our journey here to Thunder Bay. And uh, we got more adventures planned. So uh, we'll see you there. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.